Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you are getting a little bit of a three-in-one special, I guess you could call it. I just received my BoxyCharm box today, so I thought I would do a video doing a look on it. But I decided to make it an unboxing, a review, and a little bit of a makeup tutorial. So if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly beauty subscription box where you pay so much a month and then each month you get a box full of five, yes, five full-size items. I believe it's $21 a month and they have different options. They also now have like a um, BoxyCharm Luxe package, which I'm assuming you get more. I don't know. I don't do that, so I don't know. But today I got my November BoxyCharm box and, and this is what the box looks like. So what I really like about BoxyCharm is that the products inside are full-size. They are not like some of the other monthly subscription boxes where you just get travel size or sample size items that you use once and it's done. <laughs> and another bonus of it is that all of the items kind of go together so you can make your own look out of the items just in this box. Of course, you don't get everything you need to make a look, but you get the basics and stuff that goes together and looks good together. So when you open up your box, it looks like this. They package it very well with this uh, foam stuff in it then you get a little card so on this card it basically just tells you about how you can scan this code and upgrade to a boxycharm lux which i don't have the boxycharm lux you get a 300 hundred dollar value and the regular boxycharm all the products are over a hundred dollars and inside of it you just kind of get information about the box that you receive this one is the gold digger box and it tells you all of the tells you about all of the products that you received in your box. So I've already kind of unboxed this, so maybe it's not exactly an unboxing, but it all comes in their original boxes. And the first product that comes in this box is the Cover FX Glitter Drops in the color Nova. So these are just drops that you can mix in with your foundation, use as highlight, use as a liquid eyeshadow. You can do so much with it, put on your lips, all of that. Um, its original cost is $44. The second product, is this Ace Butte, don't know how to say that word, Grand Oise, Grand Oise, I don't know, palette, um, comes in this box, super pretty. And this came in a little bit shattered, but it came in in bubble wrap and all that, so they try their hardest to make eyeshadows not shatter, but stuff happens. So it's very pretty. I'm going to try to show you without spilling the shadow that's broken. The shadow down the corner is the one that's broken. There's that. It costs $24.99. And then the third item or items, package of items, which what is what I am most excited about because I love these brushes. These are the Luxie brushes. Um, they're the luminous, this is the luminous eye set. So there are four brushes. Where the handles are gold glitter, which is the basically the theme of this box. It's all gold and glittery and just cute. So four of these brushes cost $21. And then there's another brand that I can't pronounce. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. It is a Glittering Star Eyeliner, and this costs $5. I'm assuming, oh, it's just black. So apparently it's black glitter. Maybe it has gold glitter in it. I don't know. The last item are these Lashaholic Luxury Lashes, and it comes in the cutest box ever. It comes in, a gold glitter box. They're very um, simple, basic lashes, but they're very pretty. And these cost $14.99. So you are getting all of these items for only $21 a month. And each month, the theme changes, you get different products and all that, but you can still create your own look within it. So that's enough of me blabbing on. So now I'm going to go into the makeup tutorial portion of this video. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna take the eyeshadow palette that came in the BoxyCharm box, and I'm gonna take this first color down here that is called Patchouli. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It's just a basic uh, kind of light tan color, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid, but really focus it in my crease. This palette kind of smells weird. Like, it kind of smells like pickles. Weird. Right, then I'm going to take the same brush, which I'm also using the brushes from the box as well. This is just a fluffy brush. It is the Luxie 121 Mini Tapered Brush, and I'm going to go into this 
um, kind of light coral color called a clove. I'm gonna tap right in that and I'm gonna put that in my crease as well and try not to go too far up onto my brow bone. So far I'm really impressed with this palette because it's, it's very pigmented and it's not there's not too much fallout at all. So I'm gonna take the same brush once again and I'm gonna take the color Cinnamon over here. The clove color was just a little bit too um, orangey for me, so I'm going to put that right over the clove color. So next I'm going to take a Morphe M433 blending brush with nothing on it, it's just stained and I'm just going to blend right over where I put the two collars just to blend that into my crease. I don't want to go too far up on my brow bone so I'm just going to keep it really close to my crease and don't take the brush too far up. I'm going to go back in with the cinnamon color and pack it onto my crease again. I'm just going to keep building up the color until it's where I want it to be. And then I'm going to go back in and blend again. Next, I'm going to take the Luxie 111 Mini Fly Angled Brush, and I'm going to go in... Oh my, look, see what I mean? It like, came all out, but it's okay. It's okay. Stuff happens. We'll just put that right back in there. Anyways, I'm going to go in with the Poppy collar, which is... Which is... Uh, just a deep, burgundy, berry red color. It is going everywhere. And I'm going to take it and put it right below the colors that I just put in my crease. Still put it in my crease, but just at the very bottom of the crease. I'm putting it a little bit farther down onto my lid because of the next color that I'm going to use. I'm okay with putting it farther down on my lid, just don't go too far up, up to your brow. So instead of going back with the Morphe brush to blend this color with the colors in the crease, I'm going with the first brush that I used. And now I'm going to go in with the Morphe brush and blend it all out. So next I'm going to take this ColourPop uh, synthetic flat shader brush to go into this um, more pinky burgundy shimmer color called rose so i'm just going to put that on my brush and then spray it just to make it show up a little bit more on my eyelid and then i'm going to put that all over my lid So then I'm going to go back in with the flat angled brush and take the poppy collar and just blend my uh, lid collar into my crease collar. When you do this, you really just have to go back and forth with both colors to make sure that everything is nicely blended. And then I'm going to go back in with the first Luxie brush that I used and go in with the cinnamon collar, just a very tiny, tiny bit and go over my crease. Once again, I'm just gonna blend everything out with my Morphe brush. So now I'm going to go in with the Luxie 141 Mini Round brush and 
I'm gonna go in with cinnamon and put this on my lower lash line. At first, I'm just gonna dab it on there to make sure that I get the collar on my lower lash line because sometimes when you go straight in and just start blending that the collar starts to fade and you can't really see it as well. And then when there's barely anything left on your brush, that's when you start to blend out the collar. Then I'm gonna go back in with the same brush and use Poppy just to deepen up and match the upper lid. Once again, just patting it at first and then worrying about blending later. And then I'm just going back in with my Morphe brush to blend everything out on the bottom and make it go together with the top. The collars aren't really showing up very well on my lower lash line, so I'm just going to keep patting the collar onto my lower lash line and hoping that it shows up. I always have this problem, especially when I take pictures of my makeup. You can barely see the eyeshadow on my lower lash line and it just does not make sense. I think that I want to drag it out a little bit farther, so I'm just going to barely take my brush and just make the dragging motion out farther towards my brow towards the end of my brow you don't want to do this after tapping your brush into any product or else you'll look insane um, unless you really want to do like a mask type look or something but for this when you want it to just blend out like seamlessly then you just take a brush with barely anything on it in this case I take my blending brush in which I didn't tap into the products at all. I just blended out all the products on my eye so it just has the products that are from my eye. So this eyeliner is like an actual pencil eyeliner with, that you have to sharpen and it appears to be black with silver glitter in it. Um, I'm not a big fan of using these types of eyeliners on my eyes just because they're very rough and sometimes they're gonna hurt. Yeah that looks like silver glitter. So I'm going to try to put in my waterline. Yeah, it's not too bad. It doesn't hurt too bad. It's still kind of hard and not very easy to blend, but it's not like most of these pencil eyeliners. And this may have been a mistake putting this in my waterline because there is like little tiny chunks of glitter coming out of it. I can fill it a little bit, but not too much. So we'll just see. It's very pretty though. So I'm just going to wipe the fallout from the eyeshadow off of my face. And then I'm gonna go in with a different black eyeliner to tight line my top waterline, just cause I don't wanna put all of that extra glitter in my eyes. So I'm just gonna put a very small line of eyeliner on my top lash line, just so that my natural lashes will blend in with the fake lashes that I'm going to use. I'm not gonna do a wing, I'm just doing a simple line. And it's okay if it's a little bit messy. Alright, so I'm just going to pop these lashes on and I'll be right back. I don't know why this happens to me, but every time, literally every single time I put on lashes, I have to sneeze and my eyelashes pops off. Like, look at this. <laughs> One time it happened to me where I literally just placed them on and I had to sneeze and it like flew off my eye. It was insane. But it's so annoying. I don't know why this happens to me. It used to happen to me with when I put on my mascara and it still happens to me sometimes, but now it's like mostly lashes. I don't understand. Anyways, I really, really like these lashes a lot. They're very pretty. Like, they're not anything crazy. They're very pretty and I can barely feel them on my eye. I keep messing with this one because it's trying to come off again. But they're just very lightweight and like I can just, I barely feel them, which is crazy because even when you wear light lashes you can still kind of feel them and i think that they make me feel sleepy but these don't at all like they're just very comfortable and they were so easy to put on like i barely had any issues at all so now i'm just going to take some mascara and blend everything in and do my lower lashes as well All right, so now I'm gonna try to use these Cover FX drops. I'm a little bit nervous about them since they're so gold and I'm so pale right now, but I'm gonna put it on my hand first to see how dark they really are. They're, they're so pretty in the bottle, so I'm excited. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it out on my hand. Woohoo! Okay, so I was expecting it to be like glitter, but as you can see, 
it's very sheer. So it's, I can put that on my face, I think. Yeah, I can put that on my face and it won't show up too much. Hopefully, Lord, famous last words. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand again and take a brush to apply it to my inner corner and use that as inner corner highlight. Lord, I hope this works out. Oh, I almost just spilled them everywhere. Oh my lord. This is so pretty. This would be so pretty if you were wearing like a strapless shirt and you put it on your collarbones and your shoulders. Like, it's definitely something you could put all over your body. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my brow bone. I've already done my foundation and concealer, so I'm just going to put a little tiny bit as highlight. Not too much though, because I'm afraid to do it. I'm just going to barely tap it, and then I'm going to blend it out. First, just get it on there, and then I'll blend it out. Like, the more that you work with it and blend it out, the more sheer it is, which is why I say it can be used so much like all over your body not just like on your eyes it just gives you like a healthy glow and they're still just like like very thin um small pieces of glitter in it so it's not like it's more like shimmer rather than glitter even though i think it says that it's glitter yeah it's called glitter drops but I wouldn't really consider this to be glitter. I think I want to put a little tiny bit on my nose. So pretty. Alright, so now I'm finished with the eyes and I've used everything so far that came in my box. So I'm just going to finish up with my face makeup and I'll just speed right through that. So this is the final look. I have to say, I love pretty much every product in this box. With the exception of the eyeliner, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I love the eyeshadow palette. I hate that the one shade is broken and I'm gonna have to fix it, but that's fine. I've had the Luxie brushes before, not these specifically, but I've had Luxie brushes before and I love them. Cover FX drops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I can't believe that they are $44, but they are beautiful they're so pretty they're so buildable and i mean you can put them i only used the tiniest bit and that was enough for my face just one time but i can only imagine what you could use all over your body and the lashes i love as well and like i said before they're very light and 
easy to put on and wear. I've been getting the BoxyCharm boxes for the past few months now and I've loved every single one that I've gotten. This has to be, if not the, my most favorite, it is one of my top favorite uh, monthly subscription beauty boxes for sure because you get the full size products and you can put together a look within what you're getting. So if you're wanting to try one of the monthly subscription boxes, beauty boxes, makeup boxes, whatever, I would definitely recommend BoxyCharm over any of them um, as far as monthly subscription boxes go. Some of them are seasonal, but BoxyCharm for sure is an awesome one to do. It is a little bit more pricey than the other ones, but you do get the full size products and it is completely worth the $21 that you have to spend each month. So if you like this video and you want to see more of these BoxyCharms or any of the other monthly subscription boxes each month, like a review and a makeup tutorial using the products given, then definitely let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, leave down in the comments below if you want me to do this video for December, January, whenever I get the box next. Just let me know, I'd love to do it. I just realized that half of my lipstick was missing in this corner of my mouth. Sorry about that, I can't see very well on the side of my face, but um, I fixed it, it's fine. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.